In our whistle stop tour of uh, Porto Vecchio, we've arrived at Lotte Bellasol's hotel to have a look at the Ridley Dean Fast with Joachim Bessemans from Ridley itself. Hi, Joachim. Hi, Sam. It's an interesting bike, this one. Tell us uh, a little bit um, about the innovation that's gone into it. Well, if you compare it to the previous Dean, well, the first, the first thing you'll notice is that we're also going for an integrated stem and uh, into the top tube. What you see here is that we also have the fast uh, technology, the F-brake, the F-split fork and the F-surface, which are fully integrated onto this new bike. What's different from the fast uh, technologies that you see on the NOAA Fast since 2011 is um, that the F-brake has gotten an internal cabling and a center pull right. system, which uh, may, gives the brake a bit more power but eliminates, eliminates the turbulence and drag caused by an external cable. That goes along with the cockpit in which all mm. cables have been integrated. Mm. And this sure. is just the first step because in, in a couple of months we'll come with a set of handlebars yeah. which have no more cables showing. Okay, no okay. Yeah. Uh, there's, you had some, uh, some strips on here, can you tell us a yeah. little bit about those? Well, that's the F-surface on the NOAA Fast. Those were applied with uh, strips on strategic places mm -hmm. where these strips are a bit rougher and they cause little turbulences which uh, allows you to keep laminar flow mm. close to the frame. What we've done here is we integrated those mm. strips into the shape of the tubes. Mm. So you have it on, on the down tube and on the seat post, mm. giving it a uh, maximal aerodynamic uh, power and less drag. Okay, it's clearly fully compatible with electronic uh, group set. Was that, a, was that a challenge designing that in? And have there been any more innovations for, for future developments from the uh, group set manufacturers? Well, of course, you already have the internal DI2 battery, which we have located in the seat post. Um, but there's also the one campus what is working on, and Campagnolo is one of the sponsors of the Lotto Bellasol team. So we've already, uh, this bike is ready for this internal battery from Campagnolo, and it will be here in the top tube right behind the stem. So uh, once it's approved by the UCI, you just lift the stem, slide it in, and it's completely tucked away. Yeah, sure, okay. So Jürgen van den Broek's bike, uh, yeah. he's... Uh, He's hoping to do well at this year's tour, maybe go for the podium. Yeah. Um, has, he, has he been riding it so far? He has been riding it a lot over the last couple of weeks. He even took it along on his training stage in uh, Sierra Nevada. Yeah, sure. Okay. And uh, can you tell us a little bit about the, uh, the carbon and the, and the, and the layup in the, in, the, in the frame? The most remarkable about this frame is that it's not a monocoque frame, it's a tube-to-tube -tube frame. So uh, we've done this because we're going to, this bike will be upgraded in the next half year um, for triathlon for a customized geometry. So and if we go to tube to tube, that allows you to well uh, adapt the stack and reach to the size of the rider, which uh, gives you the possibility of keeping stem and top tube at a fully aerodynamic position without adding too much uh, spaces or changing you know, the position sure. of your handlebars. Sure, so it's a step on to, on yep. to no, new things coming up in the so future. It's just the first stage and uh, just give us a couple of more months and then you'll have something which I think will be a revolution for a triathlon. Okay.